Welcome to another episode of Democracy at the Crossroads, a platform where we expose the rogue characters who pose a threat to our democracy. In this episode, we'll discuss the scenarios of three Lutera bureaucrats and their complicit political masters in the BJP establishment. Yes, I'm talking about three bureaucrats of Chandigarh administration who squandered more than 25 lakh of public money to take a pleasure trip to Paris in 2015. Yes, the audit report came yesterday, but this news was flashed in 2022 itself when an RTI reply to the strip revealed this ugly truth. But what the road BJP establishment did to these officers? It gave them one after another prize postings where they could do the hatchet job for the ruling party. Look at the details. Swiss French architect Le Carbusier, who had prepared the master plan for Chandigarh, had died in 1965. The foundation in his name in Paris was organizing a meeting on 15th June 2015 to mark the 50th death anniversary of the legendary architect. The foundation had invited the chief architect of Chandigarh to participate in this function. It had made it clear that he would not be able to pay his airfare. It would, however, provide him modest hospitality in Paris, the foundation had said. The chief architect had shot the government sanction for the trip and for the affair. That is when these three senior officials of the Chandigarh government seized the opportunity to make a pleasant trip to Paris. They made it look like as if it was an invitation to the government of Chandigarh and they nominated themselves for the trip. Who were these three road officials? One was Bijay Dev, who was then advisor to the Chandigarh administrator, Kaptan Singh Solanki, a blue-eyed man of Prime Minister Modi. The second man was Anurag Agrawal, who was then the Home Secretary of Chandigarh administration. And the third road officer was Bikram Dev Dutt who was then Secretary Personnel of Chandigarh Administration. All these three officials had to agree for anyone to make the trip. All three colluded to make the trip to Paris jointly. They sent the proposal for clearance from Amit Shah's Home Ministry and Amit Shah promptly sanctioned the trip meant for one lower officer to be undertaken by three senior officers at the public expense. These officers were exempted from seeking the sanction of the External Affairs Ministry for participation in the event, which is an established procedure. Can you see the evil nexus? And then look at the modus operandi of these rogue officers. Bija Dev, advisor to the administration, approves the trip of Bikram Dev, that secretary, and Anurag Adrawal, the home secretary. The person secretary, Bikram Dev, that, in turn, approved the trip of Bija Dev, advisor. All this was done on the same day, June 10th. And on June 12, these three musketeers jetted off to Paris to return on June 19 ostensibly to attend one function on June 15. Mind you, they left three days earlier and returned four days later. These three booked themselves business class air ticket costing each 1.77 lakh rupees. The hotel charges booked initially was rupees 18 lakh. But these blokes wanted a more luxurious property to enjoy the vacation. So another 7 lakh was spent for their accommodation. The audit report mentions many more frivolous expenditure that cost the state a bomb. 
and these officers returned to Chandigarh and approved each other's excess expenditure. When these three scoundrels were looting the treasury, what was the administrator Kaptan Singh Solanki, PM Modi's henchman doing? Either he was a dunderhead who had no clue to the business of administration or he was a colluding party. Perhaps he was getting a share of money these officials were looking from the state exterior. No RTI queries, more audit reports will throw light on such near evil nexus between corrupt bureaucrats and corrupt politicians in the Modi led BJP establishment. One thing is clear Narendra Modi has given bureaucrats a free run to loot the public money so long as they put a lead on the corrupt deals of the BJP political masters. When Narendra Modi goes out of power, the deeply entrenched corrupt machinery that he has built over the last 10 years will be laid bare for the world to see. Then possibly he will spend some years in jail.